Interesting opening round. And the highly touted John Murray, trained by Joe Gallagher, is having a difficult night potentially here against Yusuf Al Hamidi, who's been told by his corner that he did enough to win that opening round. Would you agree, Duke? I've got him the first round just purely on work rate. Murray stalked but wasn't really effective. But he's got enough experience, Murray, to know how to turn this fight back in his favour. He's got to be busy, he's got to be accurate, and he can't afford to let himself get consistently outworked by Hamidi. That was a good body shot, incidentally, from Murray. And if Hamidi does have a weakness, it might be shots to the body. But he will recognise, no question, that this is a great opportunity for him. And if he comes into this and performs really well on the back of that victory against Anthony Crawler, well, people are going to have to sit up and make, take notice of the lad. Absolutely, you know, in terms of confidence, his is sky high right at the moment. And in terms of confidence for Murray, his will be a little bit dejected after, after all the fight in Vegas wasn't his best by far. Certain, certainly not. And uh, they've uh, had a bit of a struggle to find a suitable opponent for him to fight. And, uh, well, you must know that, Duke, from times in your background when you've had late substitutes in against you when you've had your mind fixed on a certain fighter, difficult to refocus. Happened to me once in, in Atlantic City, due to fight, uh, original opponent pulled out, on the day of the fight, got a replacement opponent, opponent and nearly come unstuck, quite clearly. You know, I was all over the place, but that was many moons ago, but it's hard to refocus when you've got another opponent in front of you, is what Murray's got, but he's got to be totally professional about it and adjust. And all part of the professional but he's taking... game. Good combination, that from Hamidi. And he's taking shots already here, it's Murray. All part of the professional game. Murray, of course, like everybody else, he's got bills to pay, mortgages to look after. He needed the payday, but Al Hamidi had started well here. What a fantastic right hand he landed. He listened to what the corner said. They said, throw straight one, two punches, because Murray's walking in in a straight line. And it's exactly what he landed with. The little one, two clusters, look. And Murray has got to up it one way or another. It'll be interesting to hear what sort of instructions he gets. I would assume, I would have thought, that he's got to be told that he's got to go to work and get it close to work to the body. He stops another right hand. Al Hamidi's really charged up for this one. Only found out he was taking this fight, getting this fight, literally less than 24 hours ago, and here he is, desperate to take advantage of a golden opportunity. And what a banana skin this might be for John Murray. That's better. Chopping right hand was a good shot. But not enough of them. What a good start it's been for Yusuf Al Hamidi. On our cards, he's won the first two rounds. John Murray has had some fairly anxious advice from his trainer Joe Gallagher saying that he's got to get inside, land hooks and bring his punches up, land uppercuts, try and vary your work and get Hamidi out of the rhythm which he settled into so impressively. Well, Murray should first of all adopt his jab and stop just trying to knock this kid out, he's trying to knock him out with every punch that he throws. You know, he's got, to, he's got to meet this kid at the same work rate. He has to. I mean, he's smaller, so he knows he's got to set a fast pace because he can't outbox Murray. But what he's doing is a good job of it. Well, it's a better shot from Murray, but I'm sure Murray, and particularly Joe Gallagher, his trainer, know enough about Al Hamidi. They'll have seen the fights that we've seen, those fights against Crawler, against Hunter, against Simpson, to know that this is one awkward guy, somebody who's well-schooled and capable of making it a fight. And that is what it is at this stage, that Murray's settled down better to his work in this third round at last. Yeah, being a lot more effective now, Murray, behind the jab. OK, they're single shots, but he's getting through with them. He's had a good look at uh, Al Hamidi. Referee scores this fight. Terry O'Connor. Big man from Birmingham. And if he's seeing it the same way we are, 
he will tell you, or he would tell you, that Murray has been slow to get into this fight. Well, he wants to get his finger on the gas because it's only an eight round, it's not a 10 or a 12. Right! One back, one back, oh! Murray, a former young boxer of the year from the British boxing writers. Remember on that occasion at the Savoy Hotel, he gave a cracking acceptance speech. He certainly doesn't uh, lack self-confidence. That's not a knockdown. And Al Hamidi sportingly helping Murray back up. Yeah, bags of self-confidence, but he's got to now translate that into his performance in the ring. And he's not imposing himself, shipped another right hand there. It's just a little smear of blood, I think, coming from the nose of Murray, maybe. Yeah, he's given Al Hamidi a lot of confidence. <laughs> Got to judge Murray by high standards. This is somebody who's touted as one of the best young prospects in the country. He's got to move up a level to really fulfil that sort of billing at this stage. That's good again from Al Hamidi, showing good hand speed, variety of shots, and Murray, a little bit sluggish, allowing him to do it. John Murray being given the riot act between rounds by his trainer Joe Gallagher. You can see his eyes are marking up. And Al Hamidi has really done well in the opening period. Murray may have edged the third round. It was a closer round. But it, it's close. It's ironic that Murray's being out jabbed by the smaller man than the shorter arm puncher. Al Hamidi's drain. You know, three jabs, and it's only the last jab that will land. He starts his combinations way out, but the last jab gets through. Nice right hand at last from Murray. Gets a little bit of uh, applause from those at ringside. Just wonder whether how well Murray's concentration is for this fight. You talked about the difficulty about going in against an opponent as a late switch. He didn't know he was going to be fighting Al Hamidi until this morning, I don't think. And uh, well, it, you just wonder whether the concentration level and the focus. I suppose that's the word I'm searching for, the buzzword in sport. Whether the focus is really there. Yeah, I mean, obviously that has to be questioned. But, I mean, his determination is as strong as it's ever been. You know, Murray doesn't know how to take a backward step. He's a pressure fighter, and he's, he's pressuring Al Hamidi, but he's not doing quite enough. You scored that last round to Murray, did you? I just about give it to Murray. Difficult one to score, wouldn't it? Was it? I mean, very. You, could, you could have said it was a level round, I think, quite easily. And Al Hamidi had given the first two, so Murray's still got it to do. Here we are in the fourth round. It's an eight-rounder, remember. I mean, there will be question marks too as to Al Hamidi's fitness. And you know, if he's coming at 24 hours' notice, you know, was he in the gym? Uh, he's one of these guys who's always in the gym. I think Duke. You know, he lives it, doesn't he? And he's always got the gloves ready for this sort of uh, this sort of thing. This is the you know the journeyman mentality, if you like. He's he's more than that. He's a better fighter than a journeyman. But he has to be fit. He has to be ready to take the chances like this when they arise. Sure. Well, you know, he's he's accounting himself really well. Well, the old boxing cliche of be first, Murray is not doing that enough. It's better, body shot from Murray. Al Hamidi easily was able to block that rather sloppy, wild-looking overhand right, and indeed that chopping right hand that Murray tried to land there. Decent shot from Murray. Right. 